Welcome to today's tutorial on how to craft these tiny, fully functioning books with 16 pages. I will show you two different ways to craft them. The blue book has glued pages like a real little book and the red one has no glue at all but instead is bound together with a little cord. This way you can easily reopen and unfold it at any time. You want to use this variation when you have one large motif like me that is cut up but can also be framed when unfolded. We will first talk about how to lay out your motif and story on the paper in order to have a functioning book at the end of the video. You have one sheet of paper, probably a letter sized one, that you divide in an even number. I chose this 4x4 grid. Your first four pages, as one would think, are at the top of the sheet of the paper. The next, however, are upside down. Pages 9 to 12 are normal again and the pages until 16 are upside down. Whatever motif you start at the top, you need to continue it upside down. At the end, it will be one long sh folded sheet of paper. The left two and the right two pages can be made into a double page because they will be seen at the same time. You can either draw on each page or have one single motif that will be cut up and presented as one. Let's have a look how I incorporated the upside down pictures. In the third row, the kings of the story of the little prince are placed in different directions and you aren't able to tell which way is up and which way is down. And in the last row, it could easily be mistaken as stargazing. In red, you can see the cut lines and the dotted lines show where the paper will be folded. Before we draw our story, however, I really highly recommend making a small sample book. Because if you've never done this before, it is very easy to make a wrong cut, set a wrong picture at the wrong place and your whole book will be unusable. I made all those mistakes for you and created this downloadable PDF. Fold the practice book at the dotted fold lines. When you reach the end of a row, fold it backwards, turn the page 180 degrees and keep folding. You repeat this until the very end and I recommend writing title on your title page and back on your last page. We now have a reference book for all future mini books and we can look up at any time where and which motif will need to be placed which way. For the next step you need your finished motif sheet. I'm printing out my aquarelle painting of the little prince story. If you don't want to make your own motif, you can purchase mine in the link down below and afterwards print it out. I'm measuring out my paper, dividing it by four and then drawing the grid on the back. If your motif still needs details or isn't finished yet, this is the time to finish it up. I am adding these shimmering details with my fine tech palette as well as my fine uni Posca pen. I'm adding stars, giving the different kings a touch up and add golden sparkles. Before we cut and fold, let's talk about the decoration of our book cover. You can get creative with whatever you want to place on there and whichever technique. I will show you two different ways. The first one is to paint the pages with paint, for example acrylic paint. You need to be very careful not to get paint over the edges because it will smudge the front of the paper, your motif, and we don't want that. The other version is to decorate an extra sheet of paper and glue it on top of the book at the very end. Choose whichever version you want to do. Or get creative. I would love to see how you decorate your tiny books. I'd be so happy if you shared your creations. You can use the hashtag Lomla, love of my life art. I will now cut and fold. It is just the same as before with our sample book. I'm using my scissors because the paper is very thick and I don't want to smudge the motif or the colors when I press it down. I will now 
emboss the cover of the book. Put a sheet of paper under your embossing place so you can collect all your excess powder. You don't want to waste that. If you want to emboss, you need some glue or water to adhere the embossing powder on the paper. I'm using the Sakura Quickie glue pen to draw on the paper. Next, you cover the glue or water with your embossing powder. Now only your glue will have embossing powder on top. Use a dry paintbrush for exact refinements. When you finish your motif, collect the powder again and put it to the side. Use a heat gun to melt the powder into place. If you've drawn directly onto the paper, it can happen that it might bend a little. Simply try to unbend it, maybe put a heavy weight on top of it and it should be fine. If you have helpful tips on how to bind a book, I would be glad if you shared them in the comments below. I don't have any tips. I simply take a cord and tie in all the pages. At the very end, I tie the cord in a bow. This way I can reopen it and untie it anytime I want. Now for the glue version, you will need some glue. You simply glue the pages together, one by one. Make sure you don't miss any and you glue your title and back page on top. This is my final book. As I said before, I would love to see your creations. If you make a tiny book or decorate a cover, please let me know. You can tag me on Instagram or use the hashtag Lomla. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you in my next video.